Watch, listen, and remember, this could be your community. Hurricane Ian devastated Southwest Florida's landscape. Remember those images? Our latest reminder of the destructiveness that comes with storm surge. It may also be a look at the worst case future for many of our communities because of surge and sea level rise triggered by climate change. I sat down for a look at that potential future and here's the positive news. Our power to make it a safer one. This is Osprey Park. It sits next to the Intracoastal Waterway in West Palm Beach. So take me into the future here. Yeah, so well, let's okay. Go. So so put put the goggles on okay. and tighten the back of it. Dr. John Rennie heads FAU's Center for Urban and Environmental Solutions. So you should be sitting close to where you're actually sitting right yeah. now. Yeah. Here, look along with me. You'll have the two-dimensional view of what these virtual reality glasses show me in 3D. Here's a simulated near category five hurricane like Ian. And now a storm and a king tide. Wow. And suddenly, wow, Osprey Park's largely underwater. Now picture Ian and add one foot of sea level rise. As I look at my 360 view, I'm sitting in the water. All you see here is the result of storm data, hurricanes, tides, king tides, projected sea level rise from FAU researchers brought to 3D life by virtual planet technologies. So now you're, you're you know, hundreds of feet up in the air, like right up. I'm sitting at a picnic table and I feel like I'm 500 feet high. If I'm looking at an Ian style storm plus one foot of sea level rise, Osprey Park and homes on the other side of the street are being flooded badly. What a look at the future. And it's mind boggling and scary at the same time. The work is part of a $450,000 state grant sought by West Palm Beach and FAU to aid in storm planning. A picture's worth a thousand words. So, you know, in this case, you're inside the picture. A picture that does not have to end this way. It shows what are some solutions. And so one solution is raising the seawall right here um, much higher. So now we're proposing building new parks, new new islands out here to, to kind of- Man-made islands. Man-made islands, just like Peanut Island over here. Man-made islands that would act as a buffer. Yeah. And create wonderful park space for people to use every day. Safer coastal communities and more affordable ones too alternative futures if we seize them. The reality is that if we can begin to implement these adaptation solutions, I think there could be a win-win where we could bring down our insurance costs and make uh, the affordability for residents of our communities more affordable. So insurance costs, resiliency, as you know, and Steve's certainly covering this and really uh, forensically, as you so often do after the hurricanes looking at this, they go hand in hand. But this is not make-believe stuff. This is all real data put into a sophisticated computer modeling. This is our future if we don't deal with storm resilience efforts. In my next stop, I've put in calls to West Palm Beach to talk about, okay, right. we see what it does. Now the capability of communities to take that and find the money to do something about it. But Steve, you know, and, Shannon, and, we talk about mm -hmm. it all the time. It's sure. interesting making the man-made islands too, mm -hmm. because, because now the water has to flow around those right. and it gives you a little bit of a buffer that mm -hmm. you wouldn't otherwise have. So we don't have to have the future where we see the worst impacts, mm -hmm. but it is one that scientists worry we're going to have if we don't look at that. And these 3D efforts, he said, really wakes people up when they go around in the community. People say, oh, now I get it. Or when we ride out a storm, like you mm -hmm. were saying through the last hurricane season, right. this is going to teach us a lesson on what we can do. And I love that you have answers, that there were some answers in your piece. The future's ours, but we gotta make it. Yeah, it's it's the, the great, you know, the, the, the worst thing about uh, Florida, the hurricane season, but we learn so much mm -hmm. after the fact that we take into the next year to improve. Yeah, absolutely.